Hello, welcome to Flip SG. So today we'll be talking about the drying of gases. In chemistry, drying, the term drying stands for removing water, vapor, or moisture from a specific substance, or in this case, a gas. So there are three ways to go about doing it. First one is to remove uh, acidic, remove water vapor from acidic gas. So what's an acidic gas? Okay, if you recall, an acidic gas when placed in a solution, okay, will form a solution with pH less than seven, and that's how we define a acidic gas. Okay, in this case, we are given the example of HCl, okay, which is an acidic gas, and it's being passed through into this delivery tube into this sulfuric acid solution. Okay, and it bubbles through the solution and comes out at this end and it's collected in this portion and it's dried already by, th by the time it comes out. Okay, so the question is why do we use sulfuric acid in this case? First of all, sulfuric acid it's, uh, it's a very good agent to remove the water vapor and, it's, and because we are using acidic gas in this case, we have to use a acidic solution to remove its water vapor so that they do not react. If you put a acidic gas with a alkaline okay, remover, they will actually have a reaction. Okay? And that is why for acidic gas, we always use a acidic solution to dry it. That that is to remove its water vapor. Okay, let's look at the alkaline portion. So this is the second way to remove uh to dry some to dry a gas, and that is to dry alkaline gas. So we will be using in this case quick lime. Quick lime is actually just calcium oxide. Calcium oxide is alkaline, and so is the gas that we are passing through. And so, when alkaline and so when we use a alkaline gas with a alkaline removal, no reaction happens. And that's what we want. We just want it to remove the water vapor without changing any of its properties. Okay. So in this setup, we have a uh, ammonia, which is NH3, being passed into this chamber here. Okay. And going up. And its moisture is being removed quickly by the quick lime. Okay. So when it emerges out from this portion here, okay, it will be dried. Okay. And it's dried ammonia. And so that's how you remove uh, water, uh, water vapor from alkaline gas by using a alkaline remover, which in this case is a quick lime. Okay, finally, to dry most other gases, okay, this is the third method. We actually use a U tube. Okay, this is called a U tube. Okay, because it's shaped in a U shape. Okay, so what do we mean by most other gases? Okay, this means these are usually referred to gases that are neither acidic nor alkaline. Okay, they are neutral gases. So if those gases are moist, we can remove the, their moisture using this method. Okay, which is a U-tube, using a U-tube, and inside them we have we actually place in fused calcium chloride. Okay, this solution will actually take this substance here will actually take away the moisture of whatever gas that is being passed through. So in this case of in the case of hydrogen, when it's being passed through, okay, its moisture will be taken away by all this calcium chloride. And when it emerges from the other end, okay, it will come out as a dry hydrogen okay and that's what we want